Hey guys, Smart Ninja 0 here. Today we're in the most recent version of Minecraft, Minecraft 3.6.5, and the reason it's called 3.6.5 is because it is Minecraft Python Edition. Yes, we finally got it. Everyone was kind of hoping for it. People were speculating just because of a tweet dinner bone made like about a month ago, um, where he wrote, I think he wrote, um, like, I don't remember, but it was some code in Python, and people, some random person was like, oh, that means Minecraft Python Edition is coming out. So, here it is, Minecraft Python Edition has come out. Um, and what's super awesome about this is the fact that it's in Python. Um, now, we have these new things called Python Cubes. Now, Dinnerbone, actually, before you want to get this, let me point this out, Dinnerbone released this to 365 people because it's Minecraft 3.6.5. Uh, Python Edition, obviously, that's a version of Python you need to have to use it. Um, 365 people got it. Um, the changelog, it's closest to Minecraft Java Edition 1.8.7. I think seven. Um, Kind of random, but that's what it is. You'll notice that we got this very nice texture um, for the Python cube. Command blocks are not added. People think this is going to replace it, which does make sense since if you look at it, we get first off a nice exactly like command block thing, where it says Minecraft Python Edition Beta, Python cube, that's what these are called, in case you're curious. Um, and, I mean, look how nice they look. Jasper did not make the textures, I believe. I believe Dinnerbone made them. Um, which, I mean, it makes sense. Jasper's working on his big project. Although, I think Jasper will remake it. It's pretty obvious, actually, if you look at the textures. You can see there's no shading on this, and some of the things look kind of old. Um, in fact, even the shape of it is extremely similar to command box, which people speculate is... Um, why they were not added as these are going to replace them. We still do have commands, of course, but people s speculate this is going to be only temporary as um, you can't get command blocks. Now, there's a few downsides with using these Python cubes. They don't work 100% perfectly as we would like. For example, this, uh, which you can see, uses a single um, quotation, which is allowed in Minecraft, actually gives a syntax error. Um, whereas this, exact same, except for the fact that it uses double quotes, um, does not, and instead prints it out. Um, now, if you're wondering why it's actually just playing into my game, I'll show you that. It's this new option that's called Log In-Game. Um, for whatever reason, it looks slightly darker. I'm not sure this uh, menu, if that's intentional or if that's just me being weird. Um, but it does look a little bit darker to me. Um, and you can see it is just logging game and you click it and it turns it on and that's what you do. It's it's in video settings. So with logging game you'll actually see these without it. You won't actually see anything. Um, now I'm just going to keep it on for video sake. Now there's lots of different things you can do with Minecraft Python Edition. Um, and this is incredibly cool. We first off have we can open the log of the game. So we're going to open the log. Um, now make sure to close it because otherwise bad things usually happen. F dot close parentheses as long as you said it. You can define variables, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So we're going to read the first line, and you will see this is the first line of our log. Um, now, it does read out 3.6.5, but I believe that is just some sort of glitch. It should say Python edition. If I read the second line, that's the first line. Um, you can see these are the commands. It's just print read line. Um, and it should work pretty nice. You can see we get all these launching, yeah, there we go, there it says client, three, Python 3.6, again, that's just a little bit weird, no idea what's up with that, starting, and then user, setting user to me, um, pretty nice. Now, we do have something called dictionaries in Python, um, now I created a dictionary called dict, because that's what it is, um, and you can see, you can set any value, it's exactly like a scoreboard, again, to show it up, it's actually really simple, it's just the last thing you pull up, um, and that will show up on screen. Incredibly useful. Um, you can set anything in it. Right now it's a little bit glitchy and for whatever reason it's supposed to be able to store anything including floats, strings, um, anything really. Uh, but for whatever reason it's only storing integers. I think that's just a glitch. Um, mainly because it looks exactly like a scoreboard. I think it can only it can store other things but it just will kind of kind of crash your game if you try to um, display it with the log on, obviously, that's that's no good. Um, and again, all you have to do is just make a dictionary the exact way you normally would in Python. Okay, so first thing we want to do is set our code um, to dict equals none, which I already did, so that's why it's not on the side. 
Then we just do a simple dict um, setting the values. So we got our code set. Click it and it will pop right back and again just remove it by setting it to type none. There's not a lot you can actually do with it right now which is a little bit annoying. Um, people are figuring out ways to create like stuff like loops and if statements but that's incredibly complicated and requires external editing of files. Um, but what is incredibly nice about this is the fact you can open files in game. Um, and what this means is people are figuring out ways to create functions that are about 10 times faster than Java Edition um, just because of the fact they use actual Python um, which is kind of insane. Um, people are expecting this sort of thing will happen with C++ just because it works really nicely. Um, and in case you're curious, I believe Windows 10 Edition um, is written in C++. Actually, Minecraft uh, 3DS Edition is in C++ plus two, which is kind of cool, um, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, so people are speculating Minecraft um, Bedrock Edition will be written in, of course, um, uh, will be changed to Minecraft C++ Edition, and hopefully we'll get some new, new versions. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more, maybe I could do some complex stuff with Python Edition. Who knows? It's actually kind of interesting since that's the programming language I'm learning. Um, you know, but it's cool. It's awesome. It's super nice. Um, I really like the texture on this, even though it's not like professional by Jasper or whatever. I really like this new texture. I think it's awesome. Um, they did a good job on it. Um, as for this update, new version, what it means for Java, it does mean Java will probably take a hit. You know, as a lot of their command block players are really into the function thing, they won't. They can get a lot more done with Minecraft Python edition. Um, so I'm not sure how that will play in. As for Redstone aspects, I'm not sure what bugs they're planning on keeping and not because I know a lot of bug builders stuff. Yeah, um, and it's going to be completely on um, your computer. You can get it. Um, of course, the only right now you can't get it because it's not available. Again, this is closed beta. Very few people get it. Um, and another thing people are thinking is they're going to actually allow you to create, um, well, first off, to do stuff with this, but you'll be able to import the code. Um, if you don't know what that means, that means you can import the classes and dictionaries and functions. It'll be awesome, um, which means you can actually modify this technically. Um, which will just be insane having like I guess I think it's called open source um, which is kind of well ridiculous um, and you'll be able to do rant, like crazy awesome stuff with this just because you have so many uh, things to do with it um, I think someone's already working on some sort of discord integration I think I think I read that speaking of which you can join my discord server link um, below you can of course subscribe to the channel if you're new for more cool stuff Again, um, this is Minecraft Python Edition 3.6.5. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.